Hello again and greetings folks, I am Blunty and this is the soon to hit shelves Olympus 75mm f1.8 prime lens. And I'm here to tell you this unassuming tube of optics will soon become a must have addition to the bag of tools for micro four third system shooters all around the planet. While at the digital show in Melbourne recently, I nicked a pre-production engineering sample from the display cabinets of the friendly Olympus folk and ran away with it for a quick spin around the block on an OMD EM5 camera body, my review of which is just around the corner. Well, I say steal, I borrowed it, I did give it back. So, let's see it in action. First of all, the fast 75mm Prime is hitting a lot of sweet spots. It's a 150mm equivalent field of view in full frame terms, and it has a very fast f1.8 maximum aperture, which makes it especially ideal as a beautiful portrait lens with a tight crop and the ability to blur out distracting backgrounds with an extremely pleasant and buttery bokeh. Its long reach and high speed will also make it useful for studio, wildlife, sports, especially indoor sports where a fast lens is key for freezing the action, or parents shooting their kids in dark halls of school plays, that kind of thing. Welcomingly, it's built as a high-grade bit of gear. I found it to be extremely solid feeling. It's weighty, but not what I'd call heavy, and it didn't feel unbalanced while handheld shooting. Actually, it handled really nicely. Everything about it looks, performs, and feels like a top-notch piece of equipment. Autofocus was impressively quick, as is typical for Olympus's Micro Four Third lenses, and it was reliably locking on each and every shot, and it was doing so silently, so good news for video shooters. Manual focus had a very smooth feel to it, but the ring had a little too much travel for my tastes. To swing between extremes takes quite a long rotation, which might make using manual focus techniques in video mode a little bit trickier. Then again, as I said at the start, this wasn't actually a final production sample, so that may change for all I know. I had a buddy of mine who works as a professional photographer have a play with it and he got all kinds of silent and wide-eyed and slack-jawed in shock at the performance of this beastie. Should have seen him when I told him my price. Because best of all, all this lens lushness will be on sale for under a grand in Aussie dollary doos. Have a Google if that's not your local legal tender. And while that's not what I'd call inexpensive, it is much cheaper than I had anticipated, especially for a lens of this type, and factoring in the performance and quality of the build, the bang for buck mathematics come out as outstanding value for money. Expect it on shelves in mid to late July, and I strongly urge you to wander into your favourite local camera shop and give it a go when that time comes, because I'm betting it'll put a smile on your dial and a lens-shaped hole in your wallet bewilderingly quickly. Thanks for watching, I'm Blunty, and I'll catch you next time.